Uh, hello out there, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Pollock's World of Entertainment. Um, this video, I'm going to be talking about um, alternate possible ways of entertainment that you can do while in lockdown. Um, now, first things first, I'm going to go with what you, I know you have available because you're watching my you're watching my video, YouTube. Um, to begin with, I would definitely recommend looking up things you normally wouldn't look up, but that you do have a, at least a passing interest in. Um, it gives you something, some fresh information, looking at something you haven't either looked at before or haven't looked at in a while. Um, also, of course, you, you, know, you on, on YouTube, you do have YouTube, there are movies on YouTube that you can download, that you can, that, well, obviously, if you, you can download if you have, if you know how to download movies off of YouTube, I'm not going to get into that, but there are movies that can, you can see on YouTube, but when I say very, um, look at things that you may have had a passing interest in or a previous interest in just to catch up, just to, you know, see where it leads you. Because in addition to learning about something that you may have looked at in the past, there, there, it can lead to other things as well that may be of interest and can lead to new interests and new things to explore. Um, and of course, that being said, it, it, you know, the whole point of it is that you're gaining knowledge. And um, as far as um, your phone goes, or your laptop, or your desktop, or your tablet, um, there are games that you can play. I play one called Quiz Planet. And a game like that will keep your mind sharp, maybe sharpen your mind, make it sharper, and it gives you, it, it'll give you options. And it'll give you, it's a multiple choice type of quiz that you take, that other people take, and you get to compare. Uh, the big thing with that is that you, it can sharpen your mind in that not only you may not know the answer, but you can figure out what the actual answer is. It works very well in keeping your mind sharp and you know, giving you some knowledge. You, you didn't know that. It might be useless information, but it's information nonetheless. And you know, you're you're taking all of this in. And you may, how much you're going to remember, eh, you, you never know. But as you start to see questions, the same question over and over, multiple times, you don't know what the answer is. And yeah, that it's important that you keep or, or gain the ability to figure out what an answer is. You look at multiple choice, you have certain possible answers and you can look at them and you could rule out certain answers just based off of certain information that you do know even if you don't know the answer to a question you can by process of elimination figure out what has to be the answer or what the most logical response would be um in a lockdown situation like this that is something that is very important for when you come out of it, and when we come out of it, um, you know the when we come out of the lockdown, it's going to be a gradual process, and it, you're, you're, it's going to be something we're going to have to adjust to because when we come out of it, we're not going to come out of it the same way we went into it. No matter what, the new normal is not going to be the same. As the old normal, anyway, that any any in 
in any way that when we came out of 9-11. Um, the changes were there, the changes were permanent, and the changes were inevitable. They were going to be there. They were coming, and then they came. Um, at this point, the wherever we come out of this pandemic, it's not going to be the same way as when we went in. We are going to have to adjust. And that, that's something actually I could go into that we needed to learn before the pandemic. This is something that we had learned before the pandemic that there are going to be have to, there would have to be adjustments that we would have to make. That we would, if we made them willingly, would have, would make things a lot easier. And the more we fight, the harder it becomes. But that's another video. Um, so, you know, on YouTube, you have a whole host of different types of videos to choose from. You have movies on YouTube now that you can watch. Um, those are there. They're available. Um, but beyond that, you have the rest of the Internet that you can look at things, learn about things, and at least you have you can gain something out of and learn something from uh beyond that you have um in this pandemic your home so you have the internet you have youtube if you have the internet you have youtube you know you can gain things through that method if you have a movie collection you have that to choose from if you have, assuming you also have cable, um, cable is going to have on demand. Whether that on demand comes from Comcast or Verizon or wherever it comes from, you're going to have on demand. And I would definitely suggest that you utilize that on demand. There are a lot of movies that you can watch on demand or free. There are TV shows you can catch up on for free, and that is paying for your cable service. And so movies you haven't seen in a while, or movies that you meant to see in a theater but never got a chance to see, they may be there, and they may be there for free. And that basically covers what you are paying for your cable and or internet service definitely take advantage especially like with comcast they have a lot of movies on demand that are there for free to watch definitely want to take advantage of those um beyond that after we go beyond what you have available to you on demand you have available to you on the internet and when I say the internet, I also include Facebook, because bear in mind, on Facebook, you'll find a lot of postings and a lot of things that are set, that are there. Be careful with Facebook and be careful with um, any of those social media platforms. Uh, do not post anything that is overly private. Be careful with what you post on. You, you don't want it to get out in the open. Uh, be very careful with it. But if you are careful with it, you will find a lot of things on Facebook that are funny, that may give updates that you may want to, you, know, you may want to know about, um, that will give you information, you know, potentially for the future. It could be for you know comedy. It could be for you. You may look and say that is funny, or you may look at it and say that is sad, or you may look at it and say that is um, a bit of a bit of everything. And you may look at it and say, "Well, that is interesting. That's incredible." And it's a video, whether it is true or not. You know, look at it, take it with a grain of salt. Um, repost it, 
you know, re reread it, re whatever you want to do with it, you will find things on there that will fulfill a lot of different um a lot of different things, a lot of different emotions. And so you want it, yeah, take a look at it, share it, or just don't put anything very personal on to Facebook or any other of the social media sites. But when it comes down to it, as far as sharing goes, as far as doing anything basic, you know, you may, you know, it, that anything that can give you any kind of emotion, that can give you motivation, or that can give you positive emotions like happiness, uh, com you know, comical relief, um, you can't go wrong with that. So pay very close attention as far as Facebook goes. If, if it gives you a chuckle, you know, put it back out there. Put it, repost it, or share it. Put it out there for people to see. Um, that's, I mean, that's that's going to be important. Um, when it comes down to, okay, you've looked at the internet, you looked at your own DVD collection, you've looked at your on-demand, what you have available to you, okay, all that put aside, go to board games. There are board games that can work very well in the pandemic era. Uh, Risk and Monopoly, where in both of those cases, you're looking to take over the board. Both of those can take up a whole lot of time. They can use a whole lot of strategy. They work very well. And they will take a lot of time <laughs> in a pandemic era where time is something that you and most people will have in quite a bit of abundance. Um... That also being said, you if you don't have enough people to play those kinds of games, uh, chess, checkers, Chinese checkers, those also work well if you only have one, on one person with you. And as I said, if you are by yourself, um, again, you're, you, you still have options. And you want, want to go to your Play Store and find... Quiz Planet, but there are other games that you can play that, that you can watch that you can that you can utilize that will help you as far as through the pandemic. The whole thing with the pandemic and the key to the pandemic is you know it's it, it, it started it is there it will end and when it ends the key point when it ends. You want to come out of it better than what you went in. And so, and in any way possible, anything that you can do that will improve your situation coming out of the pandemic will be golden to you and will be golden to you years down the road. And for the, maybe very well for the rest of your life. If you can find a way to come out, come out of this pandemic in better shape than you went in, it can help you for the, it, it could be something that could help you for the rest of your life. That is extremely important. I can't stress that enough. Find a way. Find things you can do where you can come out of this in better shape and you went in. I can't stress that enough. No matter which of these things that I recommend, if you have other things that you can do that I haven't talked about, and I mean, I'm sure there are, but no matter what, when this pandemic comes to a close, when it is closing shop, when things are opening up, and there's not as much fear, although there, it's hard to imagine the world without any fear of this resurfacing. 
even if you get a cure, you can't imagine that things are just going to go back to the way that they were. Any more, any any way that you could imagine things going back to the to the way that they were after nine eleven, there's there are going to be changes. But just because there are changes doesn't mean it has to be a bad thing. It doesn't mean that you have to come out on the short end of the stick. Uh, stay faithful. Stay optimistic. Do and do and plan for things on the other side of this coin. Do and plan to, to make it to a point where you are in better shape as we are exiting than you were in when we went into this pandemic. And you could well end up being in golden shape. And your entire lifestyle could end up changing changing for the better. But I'll leave it at that. Um, I've taken this video on long enough. Uh, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. I did actually make the recommendations as far as how to handle the pandemic and and a video and two videos ago that I, as far as posting goes. Uh, but I mean that this is really an, another one. Um, just telling you to you know, stay positive and you know, plan for a different world and plan to find, find a way to make your exit from this better than how you went in. In one way, shape, or form, some way or another, make it better. And I can't stress that enough. And again, if you did like the video, please hit the like and please hit the subscribe buttons for regular updates and regular videos as I bring them out. And everybody, please have a wonderful evening and a wonderful and a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you.